All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin, day 725 at 24 Fitness. So today was one of those big adventure days. You talk about being adventurous. Yeah, today's that day. And then so, yeah, once again, big adventures with Harold. I mean, I got a ton of video. I have to post it and stuff. But it is a pretty exhausting day. And then here I am doing the stuff. And then uh, tomorrow promises to be another adventure day. It's one of those like choose your own adventures. Because I'm super tired. I'm really tired. I don't want to do anything anymore. But I kind of do. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Because, well, I'll tell you in a second. Let me check in right here and figure it out. Okay, that was pretty awkward. You know, like when you go, hey, so you start school again soon. Or, yeah, I know, I got to play. Oh, okay, when you're ready for your, you know, weren't you going to be a cop? No, no, that's somebody else. Oh, I think we grant you. No, not me too. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so it shows you how many people I went through. And it sucks too because the person I was talking to was one of my favorite um, people that work here. <sighs> shows you how good I am, right? But, uh, hold on. I think I catch my breath. Get up these stairs. Go into the stuff. And you know what? I think I see... The mystery man over here. Check it out. You're here early. What's going on? I just woke up. Well, happy new year. Happy new year. Happy 2020, everybody. There you go. So, yes. All right, let me get on this bike and then... Uh... Oh, you're almost done with this one. Uh, this is an only number one. Okay, awesome. I'll tell you my story when... I tell Jack. Awesome. Alright, here we go. Oh, duh, what am I thinking? 274. Okay, well. The beauty about today is that I only ate uh, six tacos, but, uh, you know, it's pretty good. We were going to eat breakfast and then lunch and stuff, but we didn't because uh, we found out what happens when you try to cross the border without license plates. So Harold's new license plates didn't come. He bought this car called a combi or something like that we're taking his dog to get surgery and then so they had that license plate sticker thing on the front window but the dude didn't count it so we had to sit there got escorted back and then so we're like crap you know the doctor's waiting for us we have the sick dog and we have a car that we can't cross the border with so what do we do rent a car and then so the whole process of doing that, getting the dog there, and then finally, like three hours later, you know, it's time for lunch. So we had tacos, and then uh, got the dog, went to go get massages. And it's more like a chiropractor massage guy. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I have video the whole day, but it's just weird that like, you know, when I hang out with Harold, it's all an adventure now. I mean, first we're stranded in Lake Arrowhead. Now we're stranded at the border. It's like, oh my gosh. So, well, we'll see what happens. But it is, it is a really good time. Great conversation, as always. And, you know, thinking about what we're going to do. Whatever. But, uh, it was a really fun day. So, what also I realized is how out of shape I am. Because there are times where I had to walk the dog and that dog was just dragging my butt everywhere. And then so I'm slowing it down. So, you know, this dog is like a reindeer pulling Santa Claus. And then I just feel the whole tug of war of this thing going, oh my gosh, you know? So I'm huffing and puffing, but I was going uphill. It was a pretty steep hill. 
But then going down, I'm still huffing and puffing. I'm like, oh, man. And then also, you know, my phone falls on the floor in a car. I couldn't reach down and get it. I'm like, I need to do something about it. You know? So, thank goodness when that whole diet thing starts. The, the, the food didn't come today. Maybe it's going to come tomorrow. But, uh, I have to do something. But in the meantime, yeah, does it help that I ate all those tacos? No. Well, maybe. Because we watched the corn, fresh corn tortillas being made. And no preservatives in the meat. And a lot of uh, guacamole. So, it's good food. I mean, yeah, okay, the Coke. Probably not the best thing to drink, but it was Mexican Coke. And any Coke connoisseur knows that the Coke in Mexico is better than the stuff in America. I don't know, it just tastes better. So, you know, uh, talk about housing stuff and everything, and you know, it's just nice. I was reflecting about a lot of the stuff that I told you guys in my New Year's live thing, but it's, uh, you know, Harold's proud of me. And then so, we're talking about what happens next. And then that drive actually went really fast. Both directions. So, you know, and then I got to talk to some of my friends from Mexico. And, uh, yeah. By the way, some people have that pipe dream that, oh, when you go to Mexico, everything's cheaper. No. Actually, the hot, the no, more northern you go, like on Tijuana, it's just like LA prices, right? I mean, I go, wait a minute, it's pretty expensive here. But then you don't want to go to Leon, hang out with Lily and Lou and Estella. You know, everything's pretty cheap. But then when you go to Oaxaca, it's super cheap. So the farther down from Mexico you go, the cheaper the prices is. But if you're gonna go like a weekend trip to Tijuana or Rosarita, yeah, it's pretty expensive stuff. I mean, it's not super cheap what you would think. But, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, we'll see what adventure I come with tomorrow. Oh, Jack just missed my story. But one of the adventures is coming over this bike but yeah I'm 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 heavy breathing a lot man huh? this sucks I need to lose weight I've been telling you that for 275 or seven 725 days right yeah thanks for the news ball all right all right sarcastic Jack great I gotta hear this for two hours okay There you go. Yes. Oh. 2020. Yeah. Is still on our awesome. Yes. There you go. Day 725 in the books. So yes, feels good to be adventurous, but it feels horrible being fat. So I'm doing things about both of them. So uh, we'll see. See you later, man. All right. So, um, you know, tomorrow another adventure. Choose your own adventure, right? But uh, I was telling Jack, it's like, you know, he's oh, yeah, have a re resolution for this. I do not make resolutions. But I thought about it. I made a decision to be more mindful of what I eat. So that's actually a good resolution, right? And then so it's not... How many pounds you're gonna lose, or some type of number, streak, whatever. Just mindful of, you know, eating good. Like today, we had the choice driving home. Hey, let's go get Chinese food. Let's go this. It's like you know, it's like 9:30 and not that hungry, and keep going to the gym and just skipping that meal. We're $30 richer. So 
you know, those, those type of things. It's like Kurt taught me something where he only eats when he's like really hungry. Like if he doesn't like something, he's a picky eater, he won't eat. But then when he's really hungry, then yeah, he'll go buy something. That's why I always see him eat at Chipotle. It's like, dude, how do you afford that? Well, he doesn't eat anything else. But, um, yeah, so being mindful of that, and that should help me lose weight. Now, um, we'll see. It's all going to change pretty soon. But until then, got to be adventurous. So Big Daddy Shin, day 725. If I can exercise 725 days in a row, you can exercise 725 days in a row. Because if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm doing it. Being adventurous. See you next time.